Juggernaut. Hello there, and welcome to another video. It's been a little while since I've done one of these kind of off-the-cuff videos, just commenting on a few bits of gaming news. And what bigger gaming news is there apart from E3 this week? And we a few days in at this point and there have been a lot of new tidbits of information some great announcements um, and I thought I would cover my opinions on what we've learned so far so I'm gonna break it down on a per show basis start with well then Nintendo what can you say about Nintendo after a couple of years of absolutely nothing in their Treehouse Directs that was worth of any interest whatsoever, they came out swinging. Super Mario Odyssey looks absolutely amazing. <laughs> the, the fact that now Mario can morph and take, take possession of other creatures in their worlds. Um, when you throw the hat, it lands on an enemy, you become that enemy. The gameplay possibilities of that are endless. And the fact that you can throw your hat on a freaking giant dinosaur just made me very happy. Turned me into this little giggly kid all over again. And then the little features that they showed throughout the trailer, the little nods to previous Mario costumes like Chef Mario, Baseball Mario and things, just made me really happy. There are certain puzzles in the game which switch you to a 2D perspective, and kind of like a 2D wall that you sink into and then you have these 2D sections surrounded by this 3D world and then you pop out of different areas and and then just go venture forth, bring enemies in, absorb their traits, a bit like Kirby, um, to, to solve puzzles. The game looks absolutely incredible. There is a wide range of different world styles. With the initial trailer of Mario Odyssey it looked a bit weird because all that we saw was Mario living with real world humans and real world settings. That is not the only setting of the game. There are multiple worlds. They've got desert worlds, they've got fantasy worlds, they've got the real looking world. Um, and it's all blended in together to make this, this, this magical once in a lifetime journey with Mario. And I am so pumped to play that later this year. I am starting to really love my Switch, I tell you. Um, the first month was a bit rocky, but now that we've got Mario Kart Deluxe, Ultra Street Fighter 2, um, ARMS, is it's just getting better and better. And the games rolling out for the Switch in the future look like there's just AAA title after AAA title. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, if you're a big fan of JRPGs, then that is the game for you. It's not my thing, but it looks absolutely wonderful on the, on the hybrid machine. Things that are more up my lane are Kirby. Kirby looks like Kirby. <laughs> it's it's a Kirby game. It it looks great. It looks cute. It's uh it's going to be tight platforming. It's going to be a lot of fun. I know exactly what I'm going to expect from that game, and it will deliver. I'm certain of it. Much like Yoshi will deliver as well on the Switch. Now Yoshi has a new game mechanic where everything looks like it's made out of cardboard. And the cardboard arenas can flip around, so you might look at it from one angle, but there might be something on the other side, so you have to flip the whole stage around in this cardboard world um, to, to navigate puzzles and things like that. It looks really cute, it looks highly stylized. I am already in love with it. I can't wait to play that next year. Um, I also can't wait to play the Pokemon RPG game. I think now this will be the time that a Pokemon RPG will be a true evolution of, of the Pokemon series. With the power of the Switch and the legacy of Pokemon, I think that they could quite easily amalgamate the RPG series of Pokemon with the Pokemon Stadium style series of games, merge them into this one brilliant handheld game that you could play as a single player journey or you can separate the controllers on the Switch as you do, just, just click and click and then you can have yourself a tournament with two of your buddies. Um, I, I think the possibilities are endless for the Switch version of Pokemon. And I also can't wait for Metroid Prime 4. Finally. It's not done by the same studio, 
but it's done by a very reputable company. Um, Metroid Prime is probably one of the greatest shoot 'em ups of the previous generations. Uh, Metroid Prime 1, 2 and 3 were all absolutely phenomenal exploration platform shooter games and Metroid Prime 4 in the palm of my hands on the Switch is is just a match made in heaven. I can't wait for it. Um, and I also can't wait for the Metroid 2 remake coming out for the Nintendo 3DS. Those lawsuits for that homebrew game of the Metroid 2 remake on PC recently now all make sense because Nintendo themselves were remaking Metroid 2 for the 3DS in a new 3D visual style with added extras. It looks really, really cool and I can't wait to play it. What else did they announce? Well, Breath of the Wild DLC. Breath of the Wild is one of the greatest games of this year for certain one of the greatest RPGs ever made quite possibly and one of the greatest Nintendo games ever made quite possibly so more of a good thing is more than welcome in my book I will be picking that up immediately um, and I'll also be probably picking up Rocket League too um, Rocket League is now cross compatible it's coming out on the Switch but I can play on my Switch against my son and my Xbox or my my wife on the PC and we can all play as a team together in one happy family of consoles and people doesn't matter what box you're playing in providing that you're not playing on one of those PlayStations Sony doesn't want you to play with the other children um, but if you're not playing on a PlayStation then you can have fun with your friends no matter what other system they're playing on and that was about it I mean there weren't a great deal of news from Nintendo but much like the Ubisoft conference and the Bethesda conference, every single announcement that Nintendo made was a doozy. And it made me so excited and so happy that I splashed out for a Switch. Um, I, I'm really, really happy with the way that the system's going right now. I'm really happy with the direction that the game developers are taking it. It's not gimmicky, it's true game. You know, it's no motion control, wiggle waggle garbage. It's, it, it's proper proper gameplay uh, in the palm of your hand or on the big TV and and the, the developers just get it at the moment and they are producing some really special stuff and I can't wait to see it I really can't so out of those conferences Ubisoft for me was going to take the show but Nintendo just picked up the ball from under their noses and ran with it they ran out that building so fast they could say, Oh, it's a me! And basically just slam dunk that ball uh, with their Metroid Prime 4 announcement, essentially. There are so many good games, though, depending... It doesn't really matter what platform you play on. Every single platform seems to have some great games on the horizon, whether they're games we've seen for the last few years already, or whether it's new games and new exclusives on new hardware, or new games on innovative hardware. There is something for everybody lined up throughout this year and well into next year. It's a really exciting time to be a gamer. Uh, there are some really great games coming out and I'm sure there will be more announcements as this week goes on. This is kind of a midweek report. If there's anything big between now and then, I'll let you know. I'll let you know if there's anything between now and the end of the week that's worthy of commenting on. Um, but up until then, despite Sony's show being a bit of a letdown, everything else has been absolutely blinding. Xbox's conference was great. Ubisoft, Bethesda, Nintendo all had a really solid show. And that is good for you as a player of games. Uh, even the PC show had a good showing. They announced Age of Empires 4K, which is which is going to be great. Uh, I can't remember anything else really that, that stood out, but most of the Xbox conference was also uh, talking about games available for PC, so they will be interchangeable to some degree there too. But yeah, as I say, doesn't matter what system you're playing on, there is going to be a lot of fun coming up in your future very soon. And yeah, let's all enjoy it together. Until next time, bye for now.